Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to install Python onto your computer. First and foremost, this course will be taught based off the Microsoft Windows environment. So everything I will describe in this video and throughout the course will be within the context of the Microsoft Windows environment. Let's go ahead and open up your web browser and go to www.jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. And let's go ahead and close out the cookies pop up. And uh, let me just explain a little bit what PyCharm is. PyCharm is the leading integrated developing environment for the Python programming language. It is free and open source and also super easy to use. Now let's go ahead and click uh, the download link in the middle of the web page. and then uh, click the link for download under the community tab. And go ahead and hit run. And the Python executable file is going to start loading. And hopefully your antivirus software picks it up and you tell it, yes, it is good to go to run. Go ahead and click Next. This is a good uh, file path for the Python or the PyCharm community editor. Go ahead and install a 64-bit launcher. Association so will be .py. And in your open folders is uh, projects. And right here, it's already in starting to install. Now that we've finished, we go ahead and click run on the on PyCharm. Now I would recommend that you keep it on a uh, the Darkula U, uh, UI setting it just makes it easier to see what you're what you're typing and the, the different things that Py, the Python uh, interpreter is going to highlight for you. And all these plugins are good to go. And let's go ahead and uh, try to start a new project. Well, something that <coughs> you're going to notice that we just don't have is an interpreter. And you need to choose an interpreter uh, for Python to work. Uh, so now that we've installed PyCharm, you also need to install a Python code interpreter. Python is an interpreted language as opposed to languages like C++ that use a compiler that produces machine code. Uh, Python produces uh, code that uses a program. Uh, we'll get into what that means later in the course. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and go back to our web browser. 
and go to https colon four slash forward slash www.python.org. Now that leads us to the Python Software Web uh, Foundation's website, which is a nonprofit uh, foundation that supports Python web development. Now let's go to the Downloads tab, and the first thing you're going to see is Download for Windows. And currently, the most current Python interpreter is 3.8.1. Let's go ahead and click that. And let's go ahead and run that script. Minimize our web browser. All right, here it says that our setup was successful, and we can go ahead and close this installer tab. In the meantime, I had already closed the PyCharm uh, developer tab, so let's go ahead and open that back up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try to create a new project again. And go ahead and do a drop down under the project interpreter. And as you can see, we already have our Python 3.8.1 interpreter already selected. And we can go ahead and create. And it's loading everything into the integrated developing environment. And let it loading up all of its tool sets into the environment. Now, if you have an Apple machine, if you have a Mac OS, you don't need to do any of this. <laughs> the uh, Python uh, version two is already preloaded into most Macs. And we'll go ahead and close that out. And now we're set to go. We can go ahead and start a, a new new file by right-clicking the uh, untitled uh, project. Click New Python File. And we can go ahead and start coding. And we're set up. So that concludes today's uh, tutorial. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the class with the rest of the, with the entire class. And I, uh, if you have any questions, pull f please feel free to email me, uh, contact me via camp Canvas uh, or what have you. Uh, or set up a private Zoom call for me to walk you through the steps. But hopefully this video was comprehensive enough to show you everything you need to do to set up uh, PyCharm in your Windows environment. It's only slightly different for uh, Macs, but I would highly recommend that you all get uh, access to a Windows machine so that we all have the same developing environment or have access to the same developing environment uh, moving forward. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks.